Before Lifesaver arrived in the village, we used rain and river water for our daily use. We used to work very far to collect firewood to heat the water up before we drink it. We've been do this for years before Lifesaver. The Lifesaver M1 project here in Malaysia is a community-based rainwater harvesting system that integrates the latest Lifesaver nanofiltration technology to deliver clean, safe drinking water to the communities up and down this country. We've tied into the guttering system here on this longhouse. The rainwater comes down this pipe, transfers into this first holding tank. This is where any sediment settles out before it travels down here into the Lifesaver M1. And this is where the heart of the technology sits. It's simple really. There's three filters and two hand pumps. The filters are designed to take out all the nasties, the bacteria, the viruses. The hand pumps are designed to put pressure into the M1 tank. The pressure forces the water through the membranes. Turn the tap and you've got safe, sterile drinking water. Cheers. I never thought that will be an installation of life server at this site. It's safe and very clean. I did not have any idea that this sort of technology would come to this remote area. I'd like to say on behalf of whole community, thank you for installing the life server system here in my village. We're here at one of our warehouse and distribution facilities in Kuching, in Borneo, and this is where we distribute our Lifesaver products all over Asia. I'm here to meet Dr. Rajiv, our Asian distributor. We're three months into our project, and Dr. Rajiv is going to give me an update of how it's going. Well, uh, Michael, it's been very interesting so far. Um, you know, as of now, we've installed over 700 of the uh, Lifesaver M1 systems. Uh, mainly over here in Borneo, in Sabah and Sarawak. Um, as you can see over here in the, in the warehouse, we have got uh, quite a number of uh, M1 um, tanks, Lifesaver M1 tanks that are ready for collection. Um, the ones here are, are leaving later this evening, and we're going to be bringing these to um, Sri Aman in Sarawak. Yeah. And you will see that you know, it's, it's, it's been you know, a bit of a challenge, but one that we have you know, uh, overcome, yeah. sending these in because they get sent really uh, far in the rural areas, okay. um, you know, through the rivers, you know, we have got to, you know, bring it through the jungles and so on and so forth. A lot of the sites we've got to, uh, you know, go up river, we we'll spend a couple of hours in our boats going up river through the jungles, you know, to get to really isolated and, you know, rural uh, longhouses. So I think, I think that has been, uh, you know, um, the challenge um, so far. Um, you know, I think one of the challenges that was uh, faced all along was how do you provide clean water to sites that are so rural and far inside and uh, you know the Lifesaver M1 system seems to have been the perfect solution to this problem. Have you found any scepticism, any resistance to the Lifesaver M1s? Initially when we walk in, when we go in and we tell them that we are going to provide a system that's going to give them clean sterile drinking water, um, a lot of the villagers initially look at, look at me with a, with a bit of a smirk and almost you know think that this is too good uh, to be true. And, uh, you know, but when we show them, when we let them taste the water that comes out, you know, I think, you know, it is, it is something that, you know, that, you know, as sceptical as they were initially, that just gets converted into lots of, you know, joy and happiness for the villagers. We're leaving the warehouse now here in Kaching. We've got about a four hour journey to a village called Sri Anam. And I'm going to be joining Dr. Rajiv and the installation team on the journey up there. People think that to solve the problem of water poverty, you need to put in infrastructure. But actually for a third world country, for a developing country, when you work out the cost on the calculator, you quickly run out of noughts. You realize it's not possible. But actually, there's a water grid out there already. I call it the worldwide water grid. That's where Lifesaver comes in. We're on our way to site 
the heavens have opened up. This is Mother Nature's worldwide water delivery system. It's amazing. She picks the water up from the sea for free, desalinates it for free, the clouds then transport it over here for free and dumps it on the mountains, rivers and streams and rooftops. And all we have to do is make it clean. And that's what the Lifesaver M1 was designed to do. Looks pretty good. We're here at one of our 1500 installation sites in Borneo. I'm with one of the installation teams now. They've been busy this morning setting up the framework. Took about an hour, that's all, put the header tank in. And now about to connect the Lifesaver M1 system all together. We manufacture all these things here in Malaysia. The main part of the technology, the filtration, the nano filtration, we manufacture at our facility in the UK. We ship it over here all in one box. I'm going to open it up. The main component of the system are these filters. There's three of them. This filter has got our 15 nanometer membranes inside. It's simple to put together. This system is designed for low maintenance. These three filters will process 2 million litres of clean sterile drinking water, which means we won't need to come back to replace them for another two to three years. It's amazing, Rajiv. We're only at the warehouse yesterday. Yes. We're here now uh, with the Lifesaver M1 system. What number is this? This is number 374, com almost completed, <laughs> Michael. Wow. All we've got to do is just connect the pipes you know, from the gutters yeah. on the roof into the holding tank, which will bring the water into the Lifesaver M1, turn on the taps, and we've got sterile drinking water. That's great. So what's that, 1,226 to around, go? Yes. And we've lifted, what, a million people out, out of water, water poverty. poverty? Absolutely, Michael. <laughs> That's brilliant. Hey, well done. Cheers. Brilliant. Before this saver water, uh, once a week, I and, I and my husband go to the town there and buy the saver water. Uh, it, it costs about $10. RM ten dollars. Uh, we feel so happy now, and then we are uh, very healthy now, lah. All the people is very grateful because we have that life saver thread water. Dengan adanya life saver, with fresh water from life saver, we can ensure all the young generation will have fresh water. The whole village is very happy. Having installed an M1 system in a longhouse, the benefits are quite profound. Firstly, people don't get ill. They're drinking clean water. Secondly, some of the people we've spoken to already are using 50% less gas because they don't have to boil their water. Other communities don't have to go out for four and five hours a day foraging for wood to boil their water. They're telling us that this gives them four to five hours back in their lives. This is allowing mothers to spend more time with their kids, fathers to go out in the fields and work for longer, and generally improving their health and getting better lives. <laughs> yes. oh -ha. Oh -ha. <laughs>